Hello guys, um, so it will be just a quick video about my IS-250. As you many of know, um, IS-250s and 350s, maybe also ISF, but uh, I'm really not sure, has uh, a serious alternator problem. Every car does, but uh, especially those like Lexus IS-250 and 350, Mostly the generator, the alternator, uh, will die around uh, 200,000 kilometers. I read many forums, I spoke also with many guys and they just said it will happen around 200,000 kilometers. Maybe some of them will last longer, maybe some of them will die at 180,000, I don't know, but yeah, that's what they said. So my alternator died and I had to replace it and luckily I was off the highway and I was only 30 kilometer away from home. One of my friends uh, could help me out with a new battery and uh, everything shut off. I mean no low beam, no climate control, nothing at all and I got home luckily with the new battery only and I after that I measured it um, immediately on the minus and plus uh, end on the battery and yeah, the alternator died. The funny thing is that I changed my alternator, my original one, at 204,000 km. Because I thought I don't want to have this problem uh, on the highway or anywhere else. And then we have to take the car to the shop and so on and it will be a lot of money. So my original one was actually good at 204,000 kilometers but like I just said I thought I want to replace it anyway and then I won't have the problem for the next five six or seven years and after that one and a half year exactly this new one is died 30 kilometers away from my home. I don't know why, maybe it wasn't a Denso one, but one and a half years ago I purchased a Denso one. Maybe it was a fake one, I don't know, but it was a refurbished Denso unit. Right now I purchased a new unit, uh, which was around $300. It also not that much like uh, the original, original Toyota Denso alternator from the factory which is around thousand dollar but um, yeah it came with an original pack the name with Denso on it so I can just hope for the best and in this video I want to install for the future a battery monitor it's a Bluetooth battery monitor it's very very easy to install um, as I just showed you, and I will leave also a link in the description below, uh, you can purchase it on AliExpress or maybe also on eBay. It's around $20, $25. What it does, it actually monitors your battery life, also your cranking voltage, the voltage when the car is running. And if something happens, then you will get immediately a notice on your phone. And I found this to be helpful because my car just died in a moment. I didn't have the red lamp on my dashboard, my, you know, the, the red uh, battery lamp. It didn't came on. And I asked one of my um, mechanic uh, at home and he just said if the diodes in the alternator dies in a bad way, if I can say something like that, then uh, the battery light on the dashboard won't came on. Yeah, I know this, is, this sounds a little bit stupid, but uh, I wasn't the only one uh, whom happened this. The battery light doesn't came on and the car just died in the middle of nowhere. And also, if you are on a highway, let's just say, then the turns what you make with your steering wheel, it's actually really small turns. And you won't notice that your alternator died because uh, you don't have to steer that much. I mean, if your alternator dies, like just mine did, then 
The power steering pump won't working. Power steering is working from the alternator normally and the alternator dies then you have no power steering and like I just said if you're on highway you have to turn your wheel maybe just just a little just a centimeter just two centimeter uh, left or right so you won't notice that it's actually really hard to turn your steering wheel. So, and then with those things all together, I think um, this is maybe a good solution for our problem, because if you get a notice, yeah, then you can pull aside immediately, turn off the car, but you will have after that a full battery. Or if it's not full, then maybe 80 or 90% of the battery, you what you will still have. Uh, and then you can figure out. You can uh, look at in Google Maps, uh, look uh, a mechanic uh, in a in a 40-50 uh, kilometer range, or you can look up for for a tank station or an auto shop uh, where you can purchase a new battery. Or if you are on holiday and uh, 200 kilometers from your home, then. Yeah, like I just said, you have time and also some kilometers in your car to figure out what you wanted to do. Because uh, with a battery which has 80-90% in it, hopefully, then I am pretty sure that you can make the next 50 or 60 kilometers or even more. I don't know, I'm not sure, but... Uh, this is what I heard from other people with other type of cars. Um, about the installation, you will have an instruction, but uh, like just a normal car battery, first the positive terminal and after that the negative terminal. The, uh, the two clamp what you have on this, what you have on this device, probably you have to bend a little bit just for the perfect fit and then you will be still able to put those two plastic cap back on. And right now, take a look in the mobile phone app, which comes with it. So this is right after I shut the car off and I waited around a half an hour. Uh, and I noticed that uh, the numbers are not definitely the correct ones. I noticed that around 0 0.3, 0 0.4 is the difference what I, re uh, what I read with my multimeter and what I'm seeing here on the app. With that said, it's my battery actually on 12 volt and 8 and this application says that is, that is 12 volt 4. So in my opinion, the application and the whole device is maybe not the correct one, but if you are driving with your car and you want to measure if the alternator's charging or not, then it's the perfect one. Maybe not for the other data, but for this one it's the perfect one. The cranking voltage is also sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not okay, but like I just said, it's read around 0 0.4 less than what it is. You can, uh, you can do also condition test. I really don't know if, uh, if it's necessary. Uh, you have also data on your trips and also calendar from every day. And also if your car just sitting for some days, you will also have after that synchronized data. After all, my battery is actually four years old. I don't want to change it, but if it still will be alive, <laughs> Uh, for the next year and maybe after five years I I will just change it anyway so I started a car and uh, as you can see it's charging and uh, it reads actually yes 14 volts like on the label on the alternator it says also 14 volts but if I'm measuring directly on the minus plus terminal with a multimeter then I will read uh, 14 and 14.4 volts. After I shut the car off, slowly, slowly drops, but that's okay, like <laughs> every car does it. 
And that's all. I hope it was helpful for you. And uh, if your original alternator is still inside your car, then it's maybe a good idea to install uh, this battery monitor because <coughs> our cars, actually mine, is 15 years old. Mostly they are around 200,000 kilometers or more. So like I just said, if you have your original alternator in it and it's still alive, then maybe you can avoid some trouble and also save you some money because an alternator, you can change it also at home. There are many videos at YouTube and uh, I changed in mind twice <laughs> already. So it's not an easiest job, but it can be done. So thank you for watching. And if you have any question or something, then you can leave in the comment section below.